Hi, welcome once again to Indigenous Bites, and this is my Christmas episode for you. Of course, Toronto and Tobago, we love to indulge in all our wonderful foods at Christmas time, all our traditional foods. And for me, one special delicious dessert is a Christmas trifle. Of course, trifle comes to us from our um, colonial days when you know the British arrived. Of course, they love their cake. They are a cake nation, and so are we. They love their custard and their fruits. And trifle um, is is a dessert that has been around a long time in Trinidad and Tobago. It's probably down the um, ladder with respect to favorite desserts, mostly because it's not brought up at Christmas time or made at Christmas time. But it is one of my favorite desserts. It actually was born out of a way to use old cake. If you have old cake around, you know they throw some custard on it, a little bit of brandy, wine, sherry, and of course top it with some whipped cream and nuts and you've got a perfectly wonderful dessert. And today I have kicked it up a notch a bit for you by using some red velvet cake. So we've got red velvet cake, we've got custard, we've got fruits and we put it together and make a delightful trifle that you can add to your Christmas repertoire on your Christmas table on Christmas Day or New Year's Day for that matter. So for this red velvet cake, we need to have some all-purpose flour, some cocoa powder, baking soda, baking powder, granulated sugar, those are my dry ingredients. And we bring this together with our wet ingredient, two eggs, some vinegar which goes into our milk and that makes the buttermilk or the curdled milk. And of course, um, we're gonna start by beating up our eggs with our liquid ingredients, that's our milk and some extra vinegar in there. We're going to just add all our dry ingredients to that and mix it up until it gets nice and smooth. And that's basically a red velvet cake. Put that into a pan and we bake that for about 35 minutes. So once that's finished baking, of course, you want to cool that cake down and then you slice it up into little cubes, right? Of course, you can do this ahead of time or if you happen to have old red velvet cake, hanging out in your freezer you can use that as well just bring it to room temperature so for this now after we've gotten our cake and we're ready to assemble our trifle we've got to make some custard so um, traditional really fancy cooks will make custard from scratch but today we've got custard powder and actually that is what we grew up enjoying regular Christmas trifle with powdered custard powder so once you've got some really good Quality custard powder is really easy to make. So we've got some milk, we've got some custard powder. So first up, when you're doing custard powder, you've got to add your dry custard powder to your pot. Then you add your milk and you stir that in and your sugar and you add a little bit. So you want to just sort of emulsify that custard powder a little bit, like wet it so that it doesn't lump up when you throw in all your milk. So once that comes a nice, smooth mixture, you put in the rest of your milk and you put that on a slow heat until everything comes together nice and thick. So you've got to keep whisking it or keep stirring it and make sure the ends of your pot don't burn because it's milk. So that's why I'm telling you to put it on a slow heat and then that becomes a nice thick custard ready to put on your trifle. Now for this trifle of course you've got to have cake custard powder and you also have to have some type of alcohol or if you if you don't want to use alcohol it's perfectly okay you can use the um, the, the liquid that comes out of the fruits once you've drained it you can use that as your soaking liquid for your cake but what I've done today is I've put our traditional Christmas cherry brandy good old Trini cherry brandy and I've mixed that up with the um, the liquid from the fruits and that's what I'm going to use to sort of nappe my cake or wet my cake once you put that into um, into the, our bowl or our serving container so to assemble the trifle now, once the custard is cooled down just a bit, you don't have to cool the custard to cold consistency, it's fine. We want to put some cake at the bottom of your, of your vessel or your bowl or your individual um, cups or glasses. Like I'm making them, I'm making individual custard um, trifles. So we put our red velvet cake in. And of course, we've got to wet that with our alcohol or our cherry brandy and our fruit juice. Put on some fruits on there and then you put on your custard and you keep finishing those layers until you've done and that's basically your trifle now you want to put that into your fridge to cool or chill until you're ready to enjoy now I would recommend maybe four to six hours or make it one day and 
um, if you want to use it the next day, it's perfectly okay. And at the end of it all, to finish up this trifle, all you need to do is put a dollop of whipped cream on top of it, a little sprinkling of almonds. Now what I'm adding today is a true Trini touch. I've put in some cocoa nibs, some Trini cocoa nibs on top of that, and that's going to add a nice bitterness to go through to hit the cocoa that's in our red velvet cake. So that's all it is, this very simple yet very delicious, crowd-pleasing Christmas trifle.